Ding, ding, ding. King seat match here for Division One. I hope you're ready, folks. We got an absolute barn burner this evening. Danny Baggish, the gambler, taking on the Dutch Dragon, Jules Van Dongen in an ultimate throwdown. William Stewart here, Sean Green, Nick the Sheriff per usual. Oh, my, oh, my, Sean. How do we all do it, honestly? <laughs> like... Danny and Nick definitely have the best advantage tonight, right? Like hands down, uh, they've just they've had a little bit of a break compared to what we've had uh, over the weekend. You working behind the scenes in the production uh, for the uh, cross border darts challenge. Me, of course, doing commentary. Um, J Jules playing and then starring in a movie, you know, uh, yeah. in between on the weekend. But yeah, man, it's going to be exciting stuff. I cannot wait. I can't wait to see if any of any if. All of those factors really make a difference. Not with us. That won't make a difference. But I mean with the overall uh, game between the two players. Oh, exactly. I think that's right. I mean, uh, there are some factors that are going to uh, be embedded in this one. Let's let's not lie about we'll talk that. About but, yeah, but sure. both of these guys are per pretty much equal in averages when we'll go over that more here. Well, right now, let's get to it. Danny Baggish, let's pull him up here. Let's go over the tail of the tape. Club 401 is where he's been playing out of. Uh, playing for 28 plus years. Yeah, he's got that salt and pepper look going these days. A little bit older, a <laughs> little bit older. 5.72 NPR and a 71.2 win percentage. That's on 52 games played. That's 37 wins, folks. A 5.72 equals 39 nine marks, 81 seven marks, and five white horses for him. Uh, and, yeah, making his first king seat match appearance. Well, that's because he hasn't been really involved in the PPD until, well, this season. And look what he's been able to do. Yeah, you're not wrong. He's been... Uh, looked at as one of the favorites, and he's done everything that he can to stay that way. He's had one match against a player that's averaged to below a five for the CSE season. Um, other than that, he's had to run through uh, some pretty big names. Tim Adams in the first round. We didn't know how uh, crazy that was going to be for uh, Jules, but um, both of these guys had ridiculous. Uh, Danny had Ram Guevara in the first round. Yep. Uh, they start off with terrible draws. Jules got Leonard in round two. Danny had uh, Brian Dennis and then moved through um, to some really tough matchups. It's they both earned their spot here. And I'm excited to see what Danny can do as uh, one of the front runners and pr the favorite tonight. I'm just going to call it. He's the favorite tonight. Um, well, and I think that he should be. I'll, I'll lay it on you. Jules had the tougher track, I think. Just looking at the names, looking yeah. at the uh, finishes right now, I think Jules and Dongan had the tougher track. And let's get into it. His location of Sharks, been playing for four years. I'll let you get to the rest. No, that's right. You just do everything, right? Uh, 5.62 NPR, a 70.9% win rate. Uh, also, of course, his first king seat match as his first time in the CSC Challenger Series. But yeah, um, PDC professional dart player, the Dutch Dragon, uh, Bulls, the movie actor. Uh, they said that he said that they, uh, were on camera for, or they did their scene for 10 hours yesterday, um, starting around like 1, 1 1.30, so you can see what time they probably finished. And then, of course, he had a nine-hour drive back to uh, Shawnee, Kansas, or uh, Shawnee, Missouri, wherever it is, uh, in order to play <laughs> um, tonight. So, um, you know, he's never going to give an excuse, nor are we going to give him the opportunity to give an excuse of any kind. They're both professionals. Uh, well, one of them is a professional. One of them is a performer, former professional trying to get back to that level. So I'm expecting the best out of both players. I'm expecting a uh, six plus average to have to win tonight. That's my, that's my uh, prediction. Well, folks, what do you think? I think we're going to get underway here in just a moment's time as well, Jules Van Dongen, Danny Baggish. We're getting a look here from sharks currently as uh, there is going to be a few, of course, Followers in the background. I know Mike Brewer will be there, uh, a couple others. And then how about for Danny Baggish's perspective? There's a few there as well at Club 401. And I'm I'm digging the casino vibe back there on the uh on the on the uh, movie movie poster. Yeah, there's there's also a baby in the background. Um that'd be Danny's new son. <laughs> They're hanging out, so he has the motivation right there behind him. Jules uh looks like he gave Lisa the night off, thankfully. Um, I No, wait. Let me take that back. Lisa had to work this evening with the kids, I'm going to guess, uh, while Jules got to go out. So, um, 
Yeah, exactly. And drove him home. The hilarious video in the car, right? Uh, was was wonderful. But if you've never watched before, yeah. let's go over the format and specific rules of the CSC Challenge Series real quick. It is a double elimination style tournament. Players play a race to nine, best of 17 legs, all cricket with a cork or three dart count up to start the match. You'll see it's going to go to Danny Baggish. The loser of the previous leg will start the next leg after that. If either player is down three or more legs, they will continue to go first until the deficit is reduced to two legs. It's the PPD player advantage rule. And if we go the distance, Going for speed. Players will, st- will cork for start in the last leg decider. Uh, the winner tonight guaranteed $2,250. The third place guarantee, which is the best that the loser can do tonight, is $1,750. Well, not the best the third place person can do, but the guaranteed. Well, here's what I'm going to give you, folks. This is how I got it going down the Go scene. for it. I'm going to give the upper hand to Danny Baggish, who's uh, – I think he's uh, – out to prove a point here that he's going to make a stand in the Partners Promoting Darts program for quite some time. For Jules Van Dong, I think hmm. he's just got a little bit too much on his plate the last few days with the cross-border darts challenge. His his performance there really didn't fill out the way he wanted it to be. But then to go into a movie script and have all that filming, have a long trek back, I got a 9-5 to five win going the way of Danny Baggage this evening with 31 and a half nine marks. But right off the rip, Jules with Boom a 9. Goes the- dynamite for Jules Van Dong and the Dutch dragon breathing fire right out the gate. I'm actually, I know what I said to you pregame. That being said, I picked this guy the whole way through. We're now at the King seat. I can't lose, lose it now. So I'm going to take Jules. And here's why I'm picking Jules tonight. He doesn't have any excuses right now. He is throwing on pure passion for darts. Um, this is no longer uh work anymore he got to star in a movie yesterday and kind of get back to just having fun being a dart player getting us to celebrate himself like in this position that he's in and i think that's going to just bring him back into focus it's going to loosen him up relax him he's been dealing with a grip issue um if you remember and like about six months ago when he got on his big run he started kind of spinning the dart in his hand as he took it back he's now struggling to find that grip when he spins it back um and that's from him himself. So uh, he is looking to get that back. Uh, but I don't think that that's going to be something he's playing on field tonight. And I also think he has something to prove because he did not perform very well at the cross border darts challenge in front of the movie producers, the director um, and everyone else that was there as a fan. I saw more Jules Van Dong and jerseys in the crowd. Let's be honest than anyone else by far. So I think he's got a lot of proof as well. We'll see. We'll see. Both have some underlying factors. As of course, Danny, you can see the baby. I'm sure that's going to be a little bit of a sleep issue. He's probably a little bit <laughs> sleep deprived for the last few weeks, I imagine. That's fair too. Yes, for sure. But how about this? Jules looking for the 17s or 16s. He closes out the 16s and points on him as well. Big rip for him. 188 plays 53 here. In our first leg of the evening, William Stewart, Sean Green, per usual. We'll leave out that other pesky, mustached fella in the background. The mustachioed man is, uh, well, he looks a lot like uh, Rob Farva Farva right now. Yeah. Sekar Ramrod. Sekar Ramrod. (laughs) Uh, I forgot. But I wrote it on the page. (laughs) Come on. Uh. (laughs) No, I don't want a large Farva. Sally Kelly in the chat. How are you, my dear? Thank you so much for all your help this past weekend. You're uh, such an absolutely amazing person to have on that team, too. Um, Man, you dominated this weekend with a whole bunch of issues in the production and stuff like that that are really tough to handle. So I just want to give you props for that live on air before I start, you know, degrading you constantly as your best friend. Yeah, good job, Sally Kelly. That's what you're talking (laughs) about, right? No, no, I was talking about you. No, 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 no. It was a team effort, and everybody deserves it. But this is the match we've came to see here. This is this is going to be a barn burner. There's no doubt about it. I think we're going to go back and forth. Like I said, I gave the advantage to Danny, but this has and very well could go 9-8. Don't you want to say anything nice about me? Mm. Um, when you have nothing nice to say, you don't say anything at all, Sean. Oh, sorry. Absolutely uh, great call for your nine darter, uh, Sean. It's because I said I will uh, erupt, isn't it? (laughs) 
That's why you hate me. <laughs> That's what it is. No, you did great. Fantastic <laughs> can I, work. Can I actually air a grievance uh, for the weekend? <laughs> Please. Um, for the love uh, of God. You said all these nice <laughs> things to us privately, but but why don't you just get on here live and just, you know, talk negatively? Go ahead. I'm I'm happy you guys are expanding the team over at the CDC, but Nick DeRossier, he couldn't do a different name. It's so close. So similar to how Will mispronounces mine. Boom goes the dynamite again for the Dutch Dragon. He's got two to Danny Zero. The side, side note, though, on that, uh, if you want some inquiries on a dart referee, Nick's one to look at because that kid's 19, but he was back there spotting for a little bit just for kicks and giggles, and the guy was on top of it. Trip 20, trip 19, double double 18 for, for 153 just right beforehand. I was like, oh, gosh, okay, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, Jules almost goes six perfect into that one. Maddie K says Jules is like the Ivan Drago of darts. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I think he would probably like that too. Can't tell you how much I appreciate everybody tuning in with us this evening. And uh, as we get another nine from Jules, he's gone nine, seven, nine to start off this one. But uh, if you leave a comment in our chat, hit that like on our like button on our Facebook page. Uh, let us know where you're tuning in from. Let us know who you have in this bad boy like so many have done so far. We got 1,309 of you joining us. We'd love to see all 1,309 of you enter into tonight's live stream giveaway brought to you by A to Z Darts .com. Tonight's raffle winner will receive a shot. AI Mecca soft tip darts in 20 grams in celebration of the new shot AI launch. So get yourself a new uh, free set of darts just by watching this fantastic matchup that you were going to watch in anyway. Well, I will say this right now, Jules is playing the right move. Uh, he, he, he probably is going into this, not knowing how he's really going to perform, uh, mm -hmm. especially with the extended drive. So padding the points early in this one, just a guarantee that he's going to have another look and a, and a, and a look, look at winning the leg. And he'll close out the uh, – and he goes back right back to points. You see that. Yep. He's keeping Danny at arm's length, and that's exactly what you need to do to someone like Danny Baggish. And Danny, of course, mentioning in his interview that you'll see in a little bit that um, as we get our first gambler nine, boom goes the dynamite, um, that he wanted to start out on fire, just like he did against J.C. Martinez right now. Jules is the one breathing that fire. Yeah, I mean, but here's the deal. Only 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 a three two five and a four four three for that first leg. So really not any fireworks sure. being had. It was just kind of getting some uh, timbers and hoping to get a spark or two. But we'll see. Uh, this leg's looking looking different. Seven oh and a six point one four. See Donna from Dryden in the chat there for you, bud. If you are wondering Stand at home, no, those pants can't get any tighter for Jules Van Dongen. Well, boom goes the dynamite again. Number three in the leg for the Dutch Dragon. And I didn't mean that in a punny way. Yes, you did. 100% <laughs> you did. Perfect uh, cue in there after the pant remark. Sean Green. Hey, how about Colin Rath in the chat? What's up, brother? Miss you this weekend. Love you so much for all the support uh, that you continue to always give, bud. Means a, a lot. Six, six, three, and he just misses outside of the bull, but should be guaranteed to have another opportunity at this one. Just need the one. Yep, Danny trying to just settle in there a little bit, and that's all right. He'll get there. Not worried about him. But this will be two breaks of throw to start off the match for Jules. Surprising start to this match here, Will? Uh, definitely the first leg. Um, that's more like it for our second leg. But, uh, yeah, Jules breaking ah. throw right off the bat twice. Yeah. A little surprising. Uh, <laughs> we do got one. Is that Robbie John Rodriguez behind? Uh, I believe he said Danny. That is not. That's, yeah, he's uh, in this Aaron. case. Don't you guys know that? <laughs> <laughs> definitely looks like it, though, doesn't he? He does. <laughs> There's and another boom one. goes the baggish. Does it say nine mark on there? I don't know. They, We're going to have to figure could it even, out. They could even throw a dynamite stick up there. Don't you know this is CSE? <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
Ryan, I am more than awake for this one, buddy. I got a I got a little break yesterday for the most part. I would say everybody else is too. We have almost fifteen hundred viewers already for this Woo! one. Let's see if we can break that two thousand mark this evening. Uh, let's do it, folks. Maybe we'll throw in another another prize or something. Who knows? Who knows? Feeling feeling uh, like in a giving mood. Guys, this is the former U.S. number one taking on the current U.S. number one. So you just call them a has been and never was. Way to go, Sean Green. You mean a has been and a is been? I don't know how <laughs> it never was. As uh, Jules fires in another nine. Well, if you haven't if you haven't queued in, that's my go to for Danny Baggish always is the never was statement, and he just loves it, and then throws oh, sure in a he... nine mark every time. Yeah, well, how about a seven oh. instead? Good old Colin Rath, the Philly sensation. And we got the Philly legend, I guess, who's here as well. The best of Philly in the chat. This is your time here, Danny, to get a leg on the board. Big trip 17 over the 16s or points. Yep. 15s. Back to bat sevens will do. Looking more and more likely that he's going to put the first leg on the board. Hey, at least it's there in the background now. So she has she has shown up. You know, I, I do have to, I do have a little complaint about the nine mark uh, or the nine uh, call. I wish okay, you would cool. Gave, I wish you would have gave Vern a little yes, sir, afterwards, just for his masters uh, being at the last masters. Yeah, he's had his time in the spotlight. I think. Um, <laughs> that being said, and this is the best part of this um i'm dead serious when i say i had to go back and re-listen to it to know what was said at all in that leg by either I, of us i think my favorite part is that uh the trip 19 i, I smashed the button for that and went up i knew he's gonna hit double 12 i jumped up before he even hit it about two feet in the air and then jeff about two seconds after he goes <laughs> was that a nine <laughs> Now let's be fair. He said no that he knew that one was a nine yeah. after the second dart on the yeah. on the trip nineteen. <laughs> he uh, said he realized it. it on dart eight. I love it. I would like to uh, shout out the nine mark there. Oh, look at that. Uh, but also big nine from Baggish. <laughs> Joe in the background there. Joe, that's Mister Joe Club four hundred one in the background holding up a sign that says Nick D for president. So thank you for that, Nick DeRossier. I'm sure that's for you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Not for you to share. There's no way, especially with that stash you got going. There's nobody allowing you in the office with that thing. That lip sweater does not work with me, my guy. He can't even walk near a school with that thing on. Folks, if get you're arrested. Confused, yeah, if you're if you're confused, wait until the break when these interviews pop up and you can see this gross looking thing on the top of He's, Nick's upper lip. He can't even buy a car. He has to buy a white van. It almost looks fake. With that stash. Did you buy that at the store? But, like, did you buy, like, a small version of one that you should have on your face? I took Jeremy sure. Burns' old one and dyed it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's trimmings from somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the match. Look at Danny Bag is slugging into 7.00, looking to make this 2-2 two, two and get right back into the mix here. Brian Drew, I appreciate that, bud. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Oh, gosh. I'm just grateful you were kind to my beard. But this that point, beard was brutal. Almost as brutal as the hairline these days. You well, knew if I'm coming. losing the hair up there, I got to gain the hair on my on my face. You, you knew it was coming, my guy. How about that seven from uh, Jules? But it's just not going to be enough. Danny to square in this uh, these 16s, close them out. Possibly add some more points or just go right to the bull. I'm just going to add some more points. And then go right to the bull. That's as good as a coffin shot as we're going to see. So about to be two to two. This one, a break of throw for Danny. So 
So you saw Danny start out a little bit slow. Jules started out on fire. Now, Danny, a 6.75. That's more starting like to heat it. Up. That is more like it. Three legs in the sixes here. Jules gave us a 6.48. Then Danny with back-to-back, 6.60, 6.75. Those are tasty treats, if you ask me. Uh, Big start from Jules. That's a nine. That's the ninth nine mark. That's why I, I counted uh, possibly getting 31 and a half nine marks tonight. We'll see if we can get there. Um, Josh Hill, we will be streaming Wednesday night. I will be in Vegas, but uh, I don't think Nick gets in until, what, Thursday or early Friday morning? Oh, wow. Okay, early Friday morning. So late arrival for... For Nick, I think Sean was going to be joining us maybe virtually here and there. Yeah, we'll see what I can do. Um, Saturday is All-Star Triples, correct? Yeah, we do have All-Star Triples too. So it's kind of, we're going to be dual streaming. I know that Jeff's going to be getting in the mix and helping us out with production on the, that front. So that'd be Jeff McMahon. Big shout out to him who's going to be joining in. So no matter Sweet. what, you're going to have action, whether it be uh, partners promoting darts or some NDA team darts. But no CSC but next week. Okay, yeah. Go. So next Monday and Wednesday, we will not have it because of NDA Team Dart and just how many people are involved in, in Team Dart and whatnot. If you have not gone, that is a massive event, too. That's, that's Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Pretty big. Yeah. Uh, I think 250 boards at least. Mm -hmm. uh, giant, thou thousands giant of room. players. In a very good streaming area, and you guys are going to do a fantastic job. You always have the the internationals that come on over. That's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, the Germans, and, and, the, the I believe uh, Spaniards. Nico, I believe Nico will be back this year too. Um, so that's a there's some big name overseas participants, folks. I mean, some PDC players that last year. I mean, Daniel Klaus was there. So there, yeah, I look forward to it. Well, this is an interesting leg of brewing here, bud. 6.25 to a 6.0. Danny's only got the 15s to score on. And that's down the, 22 that, points. That's the struggle. Some part there is he may – does he make a move for the bull, being that he's three houses down? Uh, yeah, it might be the time for this. Yeah, could be. Definitely could time for be. this. Boom goes the dynamite. He's going to sacrifice the points thinking that Jules can't go double bull, double bull, trip 15, and that Danny's going to get a look here at the bulls. It might be only four of them, but... Oh, Jules. That was beautiful. Beautiful, oh, Jules. Boom, baby. Come on! Got some. That was nasty. Wow. That was nasty. What a leg of darts. What a you, – you're danged if you do, dang if you don't. And a nine follower that just hammered down, double-double, trip 15 for the leg. Six pluses for both of those guys. Wow. And that is, honestly, the moments that these two masterful dart players can uh, can pull off. That's why the excitement's here. It might not happen every leg because that's pretty impossible, but we're going to at least have a couple more kind of like that. I'll tell you what, it is great to see just how the CSC has just developed into just absolute slobber knocker matches. And even overseas players and, and, and folks and fans are joining us. I hopped into online darts chat last yep. week just to check out the live lounge, and that's an overseas thing. I jumped mm -hmm. in there and just said, hello, everyone. And the guy said, are you well with USA Darts? I absolutely love the CSC Challenger Series. It's great. <laughs> it was cool That's to awesome. See. Yeah. That's really cool. Uh, Vaughn, if we don't call out the actual shots you need to win, then how is everybody supposed to know? <laughs> that, can't, that can't be a commentator's curse. We didn't say he was going to hit it. We said that's what he needs to do. 
The fact that Danny finished with a six eight that last leg and lost is just nuts. Buddy, after Booyah Cup, nothing surprises me. Like, I can't be surprised anymore. <laughs> These averages anymore are just getting ridiculous. And looking at next year's invitees and just seeing the progression from some of our players is it's great for the game. Nasty. Great for the game. So Jules up three to two. It is a marathon, not a sprint. So that leg in the grand scheme of things was just a hold a throw for Jules Van Dongen. But it was a very, very sweet hold of throw. Trevor, Trevor mentioning the Spellman Gates Booyah Cup leg. Well, no yeah. kidding. Since that was a 7 3 and a 7 0, how can you compare a 6 8 and a 6 1 7? I mean, come on now. But that's just, that's just what we're going to, I guarantee you, we're going to see more legs like that in the future because that's where this game yep. is going. It's about what you miss these days, not what you hit tenfold like more than ever which is why i sit here because my game will ever be what i miss and not what i hit or what i hit and what and not what i miss i've successfully given up on darts i'm pretty sure just this is this has become okay. too too much of a too much of a investment the streaming and production gig now that you just don't have time <laughs> you just don't have time brother but yeah dang. isn't isn't it weird that we would both give it up too for something like this? Oh no, the wife just said she's got muffins upstairs. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, it'd be nice if uh No, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> We're not gonna ship you any, don't worry. You're welcome. <laughs> no, well, I was gonna say it in a different way, but that's fine. <laughs> Danny looking for the fifteens to close them out over the bulls for the leg. And a 3-3 three, three matchup. 5-2-9 from Danny Baggish. And ladies and gentlemen, all month long, A to Z Darts is featuring the Emirate Dart Series from 180, plus a special raffle. Purchase the Dart of the Month and automatically get entered into a raffle to win a set of 180 Magic Mo Matt Mullen Darts. The raffle ends May 1st, and the winner will choose their choice of soft tip 19 grams or steel tip 23 grams. You can also join in on their April Raffle Mania to win even more darts prizes. All customers that purchase a set of K-Flex have a chance to win a set of Target XO steel tip darts. Or if you buy the Target XO darts, you'll be entered into a raffle to win a set of Nathan Aspinall's Echo steel tip darts. It's like an inception of darts. Lastly, purchase anything from the Dart World March. The Dart World March launch to win a set of Chris Dirt. Do nah, that's supposed to be Chris Doby. Hollywood action steel tip darts. <laughs> they said Derby. Raffle ends April 30th, and the winner will be announced on the A to Z darts Facebook page. Best of luck oh, to everyone. Gosh. Oh, gosh. They Folks, spelled the name wrong. That wasn't me. He about hicked up. He about pulled a Ron Burgundy there and just went with it. I'm Ron Burgundy. <laughs> all righty folks we have got 1700 viewers right now if we can get to 2000 sean green will send a personal message to one folks and a personal <laughs> boom goes a dynamite just to you we'll pick one winner 2000 2000 <laughs> viewers at one point and the viewership drops <laughs> well I would and like to the say viewership dropped. Would like to say our previous King C record was Malar Maloney, I believe, uh, which would have been uh, seventeen uh, thirty-three. Would probably be our peak for a King C. So yeah, if we had over two thousand, I'll commission Ryan Keith to do AI art of whoever uh, wins randomly picked from Facebook. Ooh, and 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 this just in: Nick will shave his mustache and give you the hair. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate gift. Oh my! And well, Will right. will do a reverse mohawk. What? No, absolutely not. I'm just gonna shave the middle of the part. You know, just to, just to give the old man look. Yeah, you'll get Will's wife's muffins delivered to you. Well, there we go. Jules throwing in a nine mark there, and Danny looking to back it up. Will not back it up. I love that his Ooh. kiddo is definitely upside down, backwards on the couch, not giving a dang what his dad's doing. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. That is a potential moment in this one. Advantage baggage here. 
You can see him. He's yeah. He's, he's getting almost like rehyping himself up. He knows it's a big point in this match. He wants to go into the break with the advantage. There's the trip 18. He knows it's in his hands now. 16s or 17s. I like yep. that option, Danny. Go Stay ahead and in. pound him. And how about that eight? He ate that one up. He got some. All right. Jules. Looking for the answer. Ooh. I do want to give huge a huge shout out to Lisa, um, Crystal Bunce, uh, Erica Bame for uh, personally making my wife one of the members of the Wags of the darts uh, of the dart players. They hung out the entire weekend and had a good time. Now, Danny going for the 17s first, just trying to make sure this is out of reaching distance for Jules. Bianca, can you explain what highly decorated means? That's re really cool if, if it, you know, that's just place. having Nico there alone is pretty cool. But yeah, anytime That's parents true. and family gets involved, that alone's fairly neat. But he may have some accolades, or she they may have some accolades, it looks like. Appreciate it. Well, Danny looking in charge of this one. The dragon, even with six of them here, won't get the point lead, but He'll throw the six anyway. My goodness. Three in the black from Jules Van Doggen. Well. Oh. It's a little bit. Oh, he gets on dart two. All right. 5.42 from Baggish. And that actually, you blink and we're at our break, buddy. I knew it was going to happen. I think this is going to be like an hour-long match no matter what, folks. Just hold on to your seats. These are some excellent interviews besides the mustache from Nick Teixeira. Just try to, Horrific. Just try to cover it. Just think cover of Farva with, the whole no, time. Cover it with your finger if you can. <laughs> like if, as if, the interview's if, playing. If not. But uh, no, anyway. How about our interviews with Jules Van Nong and, and Danny Bag? And hit that share back button. to the conclusion of this match. Share, share, share. Danny Baggage, the gambler here, playing out of Club 401, playing for Club 401 Bending. Well, welcome back, the gambler Danny Baggish, to the CSC Challenger Series for your third streamed match of the season and your first appearance in the king seat. How does it feel to make it to this point? Yeah, it's been a tough road, obviously. Uh, you know, it might not look like it because of uh, the end result with the numbers, you know, winning 9 0, 9 6, and so forth, but uh, it, it's been tough. We want to congratulate you on the newborn, um, but also alongside with that, it must get complicated to handle the family life versus the darting world and balancing that dynamic. Can you talk to us a little bit about how you do it? Yeah, it's been it's been uh, it's been easy on me per se. Uh, obviously, my fiance Nikki, she uh, she's the rock star. Uh, I can't imagine what these these women go through as mothers and and just in life in general. Uh, she makes it easy. She, you know, I, I help her throughout the night as much as I can. Uh, I let her get her sleep, but at the same time, she, the mother instincts kick in to where she's just always waking up and always needing to do what mothers need to do and and so forth. So, uh, I, I I can just play the game. That, that's the easy part, but she makes it a lot easier for me to do. You guys heard it here first. Danny Baggish not sleeping on the couch tonight. You face uh, one of your toughest opponents yet, and I say that each week because it just keeps getting tougher. Jules Van Dagen, the Dutch Dragon. What's going to be your game plan to come out on top? 
Yeah, just got to do the same thing like I did against Lamakeen. I just got to come out firing. Uh, obviously, against Jules, it's going to be it's going to be tough. Uh, I, I just know that uh, her, his uh, off legs, where he's going to shoot that you know low five, I, I need to pounce on that. Right, you're going to have to hold your throw. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of breaks. Uh, shouldn't be. And uh, yeah, just got to got to play out strong and, and be strong right out the gate. You can't take any games off. Anything you want to say to your friends, fans, family, or anybody else watching along? Uh, yeah, just thank you to all my sponsors. Uh, you know who you are. Uh, I appreciate everyone. EDC, Booyah, Target, uh, Maximum Precision Designs, Vinny Norton Productions, uh, Tommy Case. And if I missed you, then I'm sorry. Um, but uh, and then just uh, Nikki for let, allowing me to do this. Uh, I appreciate it. And without her, I wouldn't be able to do it. And uh, everyone that's coming out tonight, thanks for the support. And I'm looking forward to a great battle. Danny, we're excited to have you on our show again. We're excited for this king seat. This might be the best king seat match in CSE history, and we're excited to see how it unfolds. And we wish you nothing but the best of luck in your match. Say, Jules, you be easy. Yep, say be easy, Jules. Be nice. Mecha darts as a part of the shot AI range. Mecha's kind of a Transformers vibe. So let's do a quick review as we throw a leg of 501. Ooh, surprised I fit that in there. The milling is certainly distinguished on this barrel. Um, combination of shark, square, and V-cuts, they say. It feels like luxury in your hands. 105. I don't think I've had that one before uh, since the past like four months. Okay, 19's all the way. Oh. I'm going to blame the beepy beeps from the retail storefront. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have to press play change. Let's finish off strong before we end. Uh, overall, I love that kind of slight taper into a front loaded. If you're, if you're wanting to experiment with a different weight distribution, this might be a way to ease into it. Um, decorative barrel, very high end look and feel. It just, like I said, feels like luxury. Black and gold, also synonymous with luxury, typically. Uh, and that is the Mecca range. 32. Get in there! I'm Jules Van Dongen. Play for PNG uh, out of Shawnee at the Sharks. Whoa. Welcome back, Jules Van Doggen, the Dutch Dragon, for your third appearance on the CSE livestream and for the King Seat match, the biggest one yet. How's it feel to make it this far? Pretty for the first time, I'm uh, yeah pretty happy where I'm at, especially given that uh, you know when we first started, I saw that I had Leonard second round potentially, so not uh, not the easiest of draws and. Uh, yeah, to make it through and uh, make it to the king seat uh, match is, uh, yeah, pretty pretty satisfied with it. Certainly, certainly. And right now, we're actually looking at you currently traveling from another event on your way to this one. Uh, can you talk to us? We know you're used to the travel, but what's one of the hardest parts of doing these quick turnarounds between events? Yeah, I know this last couple months have been pretty hectic. And, uh, you know, Lobby and I, we came straight from... Uh, England's straight over to uh, Chicago to play in the cross border challenge so we didn't we didn't have much time there and then um, then straight into the, filming the movie yesterday and uh, that turned into a late night and then now a nine hour road trip home tonight you face against Danny Baggish statistically your toughest opponent yet what's gonna be your game plan to come out on top and get your spot into the finals Hit a lot of nine marks. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, for me, Danny, uh, this season so far has been the, the most steady and, and uh, uh, factor in, in the CSC. And uh, respect to Porky, but if you hit a three mark, you might get away with it. And uh, against Danny, you can't do that. And uh, um, he will he will punish that. But then in, in return, if he has a bad round, I will have to capitalize on those bad rounds. So. Yeah, I just have to stay sharp. I cannot, uh, 
I cannot coast. I cannot, you know, take it easy. I gotta, gotta take any opportunity I get. And anything you want to say to your friends, fans, family, or anybody else watching along? Yeah, thanks for supporting as always, and uh, thanks for supporting uh, uh, the, the PPD and and the stream and watching it because without people watching, uh, this wouldn't be possible. So, yeah. Thanks uh, for, for everything. Well, Jules, we are excited to have you back on our show. We're excited for the King Seat match. This is probably one of the most anticipated matches in CSC history. And all we can do is wish you the best of luck. This is the Dutch Dragon, and you're watching the CC Challenger Series. Some great Welcome interviews back. besides the mustache. There's no denying it, folks, now for you all to see. What do you think? Leave it? Shave it? Do something better? Should he twirl it? No, nah, he can't grow one that long. Here we go, folks. Danny Baggish, Jules Van Dong, and Danny Baggish, the gambler, has the advantage 4-3 to three currently on this one. Uh, what do you think, Sean? I think the mustache does have to go. I agree. I agree. Oh, you meant the darts. Um, I don't, you know, I don't think we could have asked for much more to start this thing off. We had one crazy leg there at uh, to make it 3-3. And Danny wins the last leg to make it 4-3 there. And uh, you would say after starting out down 2 nothing, he'll take 4-3 to three at the break. I would say so. Um I mean, there at the very beginning, a uh, fun fact, uh, Danny did call me in the middle of this bad boy and said, uh, did. he just had a conversation. He's like, yeah, didn't start off too hot, but I caught on, but I'm still playing like dog crap. I said, well, okay, <laughs> if you say so, because he's throwing a 5.62. So in, in his essence, he is because he's below his current NPR in the tournament. And he has been so consistent on his averages that they've been right around a 5.72 every single match, which is honestly kind of insane. I would just well, like Jules? to say that ahead, my Nick. mustache... No, I'm going to go ahead because my mustache is not for you guys. <laughs> it is for Gen Mounts and Gen Mounts alone. Well, we didn't want to hear that one, but I guess you go ahead and say it anyways. Um, by the way... She's a taken woman. Yes, she is. <laughs> she is married. Happily. She doesn't need you around. <laughs> but if you if there was ever swinging for the fences, Nick, you're you're doing just that. A swing and a miss. Just <laughs> a bit outside. And by just a bit outside, dude, you threw it and were in the third base dugout going for the home plate. Yeah, third base dugout, my guy. Way off of third base. <laughs> you throw you threw it into your own team's dugout and hit Jen. That's the problem. For those that are wondering, Jules currently throwing a five point zero eight. So yeah, it's significantly lower than his current NPR, at least a half a half a mark down from his NPR. So he's got to pick it up a hair. I think both these guys are going to try to do so in this conclusion of the match remember race to nine so quite a bit more to go in this bad boy share this out for your friends to enjoy plenty of time to enjoy uh this one. Oh yeah it's gonna be fire from this point forward most likely see if jules staying right there Mr. Gates in the chat. I will say. Love Mr. Gates. Leonard was hilarious this weekend. <laughs> uh, that that DRA meeting was something else, bud. <laughs> Cracked me right up. Hope you're feeling better, my friend. It's always difficult to be sick, especially with your schedule and everything going on with you. It's like every time you're sick, there's something that 
that's going to be affected by it. We did. We did want to mention. Uh, how about that news about the uh, betting and whatnot? This past. I, uh, it's weekend? really cool. It's historic for uh, North American darts and for North Americans. And, so, and um, who knows what this could lead to? Yeah, I, down the road. I mean. We could have a sports bet in the CSE Challenger Series, essentially. You never know how far this could go. And you always hope for it to go as far as uh, it, it might possibly go, which is a really, really, really awesome sign uh, for for all of us. And I mean all of us. The 1,500 that are watching along, the two players playing, you and me. Maybe Nick, probably not. If he keeps that mustache, there's no telling. <laughs> Nick in the background just said, I'm on a diet for Vegas. No, he but, said, I'm no, going I'm to die. <laughs> oh, also, like the mustache. But, also, I am, but I wasn't going to out myself. But geez. <laughs> I thought he said, I just started a diet for Vegas. I was like, but late start. Hey, he can die this week. <laughs> oh, gosh. Brother, I've been trying to die it. It ain't going well. It ain't going well. No, we were not saying that. And if you thought so, I apologize, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Garfinkel in the chat. What's up, brother? 5.04 uh, for Jules as he gets on top and back into this match. 4-4. Four, four. Did you guys happen to watch Alex Bellman's interview tonight? Where was his interview at? Uh, he did online online darts. Yeah. Oh, cool. It wasn't 8 p.m. It was 8 p.m. their time. So three, what, three or four Eastern? I think three Eastern, yeah. You can go check it out. Uh, online darts uh, live lounge. I will. Uh, Phil Phil Bars does a great job. He he has uh, a lot of he goes to all the pro tour events and interviews all those pro players after their yep. wins and stuff. So it's a channel to definitely follow. Um, fun fact: I'll be doing the online darts production for the U.S. Darts Masters. So it's kind of cool that I get that opportunity with Phil to 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 do that and whatnot. Yeah, so looking great, forward man. to that. Yeah, we'll try to dual stream it on USA Darts if he'll allow it. Uh, yeah, it's four to four. Uh, Danny Baggis, Jules Van Dong, and Jules went in the last leg there, tying it up. We got ourselves a tie ball game. Uh, Mike Maloney looks like he is up six to five in his matchup with ten, Tim Adams. Go back to Jules and I'm gonna try to shut down those seventeens in this round. I'll do point. so now. There yep. it is. And back. Little He'll take it from those red, white, and blue fights. Down to the 15s before taking a look at the 16s. He's grabbing that bed. So he has something to work on and point off of. And again, attacking the throw here, Baggish, to try and take the lead, 5-4. to four. <laughs> I love Jeff coming in here and saying, this chat is like a reunion, laugh out loud. That's what we try to make <laughs> it, Jeff. It's just fun. Boom, baby. A little bit of professionalism as well. No, who am I kidding? Far from professional for this one half the time. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, for both of us. Although Danny has an opportunity here, doesn't he? Yeah, he sure does. Big opportunity. Not anymore. All right. So Jules should pull this one out. One bowl needed. And a back-to-back -back unfortunate goes for... For Danny, I mean, 4.25 and only throwing a 3.83 here in this one. Would I think I'd be a little concerned if I'm Danny Baggish here. 
I don't know if necessarily I'd be concerned yet. It's only five to four. Uh, three eight's weird, but Joe's kind of started out on fire and jumped ahead. Danny kind of had to push a little bit, so expect him to get right back into it here. Like right back into it. Like all the way back into it. He throws a nine. So I recreate it there real quick. One hundred and eighty. Oh, sorry. Couldn't resist. Hey, let's give a huge shout out to someone that we have not uh, seen do a Championship Charge Corporation event before uh, this weekend. How about our MC from this weekend, Jay Flats? <laughs> this guy <laughs> is. I cannot tell you. This guy is just incredible. Okay. Uh, if you didn't catch the fake English accent, he did that for a reason, yep. and that's because he got dared to, and he just went out there and nailed it. Like what <laughs> he said, he said these guys are hyped AF still yeah. from that last round. <laughs> for, those that, for those who don't know, that he 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 uh, has no darts background. He yep. does the Kelly Clarkson show, I guess. So yep. he's he's apparently you know got a little back background yeah. on that side of things, but absolutely killed it he was dancing with uh kiddos up on the stage for a little while yep. and yeah maybe there were some parts that he needs to work on but <laughs> first event killed it yeah it was so much fun and asking him afterwards he was like he's like i definitely would say yes if uh if they asked me to come back again so that's that's a great sign a big party atmosphere why wouldn't you and then 10 yeah. minutes after the event folks he was getting his hair cut in a salon next door because well said somebody said I'll give a free haircut to Jay in the chat or not in the you chat, said, yep. but in the, in the, in the uh, audience. Apple. There's the coffin shot from Danny Baggish coined by Mr. Ryan Mooneyham. Uh, Sunshine, they're going to play with a tape tape on the floor it, for a soft tip. It does it's a more soft tip thing. You, I don't know. Maybe there is a knocky yet. Uh, no, by him looking down, I can tell you that there's not one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He wouldn't use, of, you never he wouldn't know. Look down. Yeah, he wouldn't look, I don't down, think he'd if, look down if there was a if there was an Aki in place. Seven point zero seven. I think he's okay. I think yeah. he figured out how to throw again. Five good, to five score line. Good resurgence. Good resurgence. We got an alley uh, saying Tim is on fire. Tim is playing uh, Mike Maloney this evening, if I'm not mistaken, in that fourth place match. All right, Jules looking to get started here. Going to have to step over after dart one. You can see it. The flight immediately grabbed. Threw a good dart on dart three, but only a three-mark start. Keith, okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, by the way, Nick, for your enjoyment, Ryan Mooneyham did te text me and say that mustache is bad. <laughs> you want to see it? Yeah, apparently, uh, apparently, Nick got uh, a couple of screenshots yeah. about how bad the, the mustache was. Yeah, shout out to everyone during the break that decided to <laughs> screenshot my face and send it to me as if I didn't know what was there. <laughs> that was really cool. Uh, and to Ryan Mooneyham, are you supposed to be making like stew or something or chicken pot pie or whatever you guys do? Chicken and dumplings? Hey, hey, do you see who's uh, watching along with us? That's Mr. Nine Darter himself. Mr. Alex Spellman is uh is watching along. What's up, brother? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're feeling good. Cross border darts challenge champion. That is uh, that is one we'd love to get in the mix here in our CSC Challenger series, but I do from my understanding, he kind of out of a reaching distance of a board, he has to kind of travel to get to a to a well, uh, arachnid. Just in case, let me tell you, Alex, how to become eligible to play in major PPD events like the CSC Challenger Series, just in case you're able to. Players Let's become eligible it. for those by playing in PPD leagues and daily remote tournaments or DRTs. Leagues are starting daily, so get involved by going to dartstoc.com and checking out the map. That map will show any location with G3 boards within the PPD system. If you're not seeing anything in your area, just have your vendor contact them on the website. From there, you can sign up for leagues on the website. It doesn't take a ridiculous amount of games to be eligible either. Consistently playing one league a week will keep you eligible for this event in the future. Again, just go to dartstoc.com to get signed up today. And look at the 16 shot there for Jules. 
He is going to take a shot at the 17s there. Interesting fact. I don't I don't know if I like that. You're dang I don't if know you if do I like dang, it this late. You're danged if you do dang if you don't, though. Even if you go with the 16s, Danny kind of still has the upper hand. Well, still. Uh, no, no, no. Now he's got to decide here. He's got to go for the kill shot. He's got to go 15. for it. You got to go for it. Kill shot. Yeah. Especially at this point in the match. There you go. Look at Aaron with the big fist pump in the background, too. I love the enjoyment and the excitement. I wonder if that was a whisper one, too. I wonder if they're whispering there for the kiddo. Like, wouldn't that be awkward if it's just silent fist pumps? Fist, fist pumps? <laughs> <laughs> like, without the roars, it's just... Mm, mm. <laughs> Well, Danny, that's a first good first start from him. Yeah, it's gonna make that nice and easy. Regains the lead six to five. This has been a roller coaster back and forth ball game. Jules started out two nothing. Danny got the lead back three to two. Tie ball game and then four to three. Danny going into the break. Jules fires out two straight legs to make it five to four. And Danny comes back with two straight to make it six five. This uh man, it's almost like who's leading? Who's the first to eight? Good seven mark from Jules. But a great Boom answer. Boom goes the dynamite for Danny Baxter as he starts the uh, the eating them up. I'm going to be honest. For how many nines we had right off the rip, Kind of surprising we haven't seen more in these later stages of this match. In the middle stages, I guess I should say, not later stages. Well, look at this. He continues to eat. Back to back nines for Baggish. Jules looking for an eight. Gets the eight in return. 9.0733. Just buckle up, Buttercups. He's still saying, give it, give it to me, give it to me. That's a 997, folks. And look where Jules is, still within reaching distances. We got an 833-733 battle. 7-7, seven, seven, Maloney and Tim. My word. Oh, look at this from the gambler. The gambler with another nine. What is, is third that? of the leg. Or an 8.5. I don't know what kind of dance move that was, Aaron, but okay. As you can see, Jules literally had to turn around, and Danny still gives it a let's go so he can see it. Oh, Danny's game screen broke? All righty. So maybe there's just an issue here as but, an so online Jules server. can't see this? Oh, okay. Well, it just switched to Jules, you could tell. So it must have been a little issue there with the server, I'm guessing. Oh, look at this. What an answer. Dirty. The dragon fires a nine of his own. What a leg, ladies and gentlemen. Eight five to a seven two. Okay, maybe they can still surprise me. Uh oh. All I'm thinking is that it's going to ruin his average, but that also could ruin the leg for him. Even Gates saying the board can't handle that much fire. <laughs> <laughs> and that's coming from Leonard. <laughs> that's, that's great. That's funny. Oh, Danny. They keep this up. They're going to have to just, they're going to blow up both boards. Did 
Jules trying to what a leg of darts. Yeah, this is this is great back and forth as Jules tries to halt the two leg advantage for Danny here. We'll see. Is that a marker? Uh oh. oh. They call him the gambler. Will that gamble pay off? I don't know if it did pay off. Jules with the upper hand shots here. 15. Oh, I'm so surprised. <laughs> it's I don't like it. I would have taken the shot there at the 15s. I definitely think he should have because Baggish can answer right back, and it only takes really yep. a four mark to do so. Yeah, there's he a can do it now. Back. Oh, big dart here. Ooh, he lets him off the hook. Six three eight plays a six six three. And Jules goes to the bull because he blocked himself on the first sixteen. Eighteen hundred plus guys, two hundred away from somebody getting a customized. Boom goes the dynamite cameo from Sean Green, and some mustache hairs from <laughs> Nick Tarachi to share. <laughs> Sealed in a nice envelope. Our second six plus from both of the individuals as Jules wins with a six one one. Danny with a six zero zero. Is that what I saw there? To uh, Miss out on that one? Yep. Wow. 6-6, six, six, folks. Fantastic. And Will is going to give away a match commentated hat that he was wearing with at least one of his hairs stuck to it. No, absolutely not. Well, absolutely we're not doing the cameo in the, in the mustache hairs because you're no fun. I'll send my customized pin that I got from the bank. From Ford? Stole it. <laughs> <laughs> Stolen. Yeah, Danny and that leg went nine nine seven nine and lost. <laughs> well, there's a reason why he went three and four four mark in the latter stages of that leg, and that's what kind of really cost him. But starts off with a nine here, back of him or what? Follows up the seven with a nine. Yep. The math pays out there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I got tongue tied. Looks like Danny way out in front in this one. Running away, going seven nine seven to start off this one. Yes, everybody, for the final time. I definitely have the advantage over everybody else. I have, I have a lovely wife who cooks a smorgasbord of treats. That's probably why I've gained so many pounds the last uh, two years. So, yeah, muffins up upstairs. I'll devour about 10 of them this evening, guaranteed. I'm going to start calling you T Tina. <laughs> I like it. Do it. You fat, you fat tub of lard. <laughs> you fat tub of lard. That's uh, Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite, Nick. Nick, if you have not seen that one, I'm sure you haven't. Oh, that's the the French guy, right? No. Oh my god. Uh, no, it is not the French guy. Plus my catchphrase. It's uh, twenty twenty years ago, by the way. That that, that movie. No way. Yep. Yeah. Two thousand four. Ridiculous. My dad's favorite movie, by the way. <laughs> Big nine there for Jules to open us up in this leg. Danny just two legs away here. As this has essentially become a best of five. Yeah, and Jules does not have to break the throw of Danny in order to, to win this match. He can hold throw here, hold throw in two legs, and we would be going to a last leg decider where they will diddle for the start.
Brandon Kessler, vote for Pedro. Such a classic. I think we promised each other that we weren't going to movie quote the whole time and distract <laughs> tracked away from the match. You can't do it once you name a couple good gym movies as Jules throws in a good eight mark here. Maloney 9-7 to guarantee a third place matchup for him as Tim Adams unfortunately bids adieu. What a run for him. So we're we just going to see Danny just throw off here at the end just so he plays Maloney next week or in two weeks. If he wants him, he's going to have to go get him, you know? How about Mason Sasser in the chat? What's up, brother? Dude, it was crazy to see you in person at Booyah Cup. You look so different than the profile picture. and knew you have a year ago you've really uh grown out of your frame so to speak and the dutch dragon ties it up seven apiece breathe some fire with a 6.80 lisa back there in the fire red pants and black shirt She's probably the nicest mother of dragons. <laughs> Andrew Trainer goes, how about a race to 21? I couldn't agree with you more. We'd probably still get over before midnight my time. We might get done before 11 my time. 7-7. <laughs> uh, seven, seven. <laughs> Danny closes the 19th first, goes back to the points. And Jules says, okay, I'll just take the 18th, I guess. I might as well. He's trying to, gonna try to hunt him down and then take, take it away. I like it. I like the move. Danny going to look down the 17th first. Yep. Now up right away. And this is why I liked it, because now Jules has an opportunity here to gain back control. <laughs> well, Brandon Neal, then uh, Danny Baggish has a chance. That is the 19th nine mark. And how about that? Number tw number eight. That's an eight mark. <laughs> Still a fantastic Got eight him. mark. Jules yeah. might lose this match with a seven six seven average. Or not. Just kidding. If he hits this 15. Wow, he doesn't even close the 15s, goes right to the bowl and closes those instead. But about interesting. Especially because that's a 45 point lead. I am so surprised. Yep. And the did not take a look there. Danny Hammer's in the 15, so two two, two bowls big shots in the short 15. Here. Yep. Two bowl. Nope, I was wrong on the math. Yeah, but Good job, Sean. three three bowls in a trip 15, but that's okay. Where were you on that one, Will? Well, um I was thinking it, so <laughs> there's there's that guarantee. There's the point lead. Stay in there again. Wow, look at this. The gambler now throwing a seven of his own, and that's the 29 mark. Up 120 points here. Jules cannot win at this leg, and he won't even get the point lead. Danny can put himself one leg away here. Three bulls. Starts it off with a double. Go ahead and write it down. It's guaranteed. Yep. Great. Six, seven, five. And Danny Baggish is one leg away from the king seat. 
and a guaranteed two thousand two hundred fifty dollars. Five hundred dollars difference of guaranteed money here tonight. Can Jules send it to a last leg decider? In which case we will diddle to see who gets the start. And buddy, this deserves a last leg decider, doesn't it? I would love to get one here. We'll see if that uh, happens or not, but it sure would be nice, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be nice if we could have a last leg decider? Terrible singing voice, Sean. I just wanted to let you know that. Thank goodness you're an English teacher instead of a choir teacher. Well 57 aware. on the board for Danny. Seven mark there for him. He took a shot there at the 20s when he could, and Jules going to hammer down on him. Whoop. Hammer down on him. Put the hammer down. Danny Bash on the 19s. Isn't that interesting? Michael says, the voice of an angel. Jason, my ears are bleeding now. So back <laughs> differential uh, thoughts there. Eight mark for Danny. Well, it sounds like Michael has a perfect pitch. You're flat. So flat. I'm sitting down in a chair, leaning back, watching darts. And you're judging so me on how flat I am? Yeah, so flat. I am so round, flat. sir. I yeah, am not you, flat. You are definitely round. There's no denying that. Wow. <laughs> Whatever, Tina. Go eat your muffins. I'm sorry. It's just that kind of night, guys. I just got to do it. <laughs> Will's the skinny one of the three of us. I want everybody to know this. Okay. 1,980 viewers. We can get over 2,000 here soon. It's the, the stash is gone. Someone's getting the hairs. Someone's getting the custom cameo from Sean Green. Someone's getting the USA darts hat from Will. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, Sean Green here, guys. Just wanted to give you that cameo you paid for. <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite to you and your family. <laughs> Oh, my. Hammer down on the 18s. He's trying to get there, trying to make sure this is an eight, eight matchup and go the distance. Nathan Garlow, did we just become best friends? Yep. And it looks like Jewel's a big, giant point lead here, but the white horse thrown there from the Bagster. That needs to be his new name. I love Maloney. There goes the 17s. Maloney lets us know. There goes the 16s. Uh oh. Oh. Maloney lets us know that was no easy task against Tim Adams as he joins us in the chat. (laughs) My butt's been puckered for 90 minutes. It's wonderful. (laughs) Let's just say it how it is. All right. We don't have any boundaries now, right? No, no boundaries. So we're squared away for an 8-8 eight, eight affair. Look at this, folks. You asked for it. You got it. Oh, I wouldn't speak too soon. Oh, I, you can speak too soon. Double. Okay. You can't speak too soon, folks. Here we go. What happened? Will he get All right, now we can speak. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Guys, again, to set this up, they will diddle for the start. That diddle will be a split bull uh, diddle. So they'll shoot at the big numbers here, which both these guys, obviously, huge, successful steel tip dart players. They're going to need to utilize all of that right here. The start of this match is going to be important. Who will get it? Danny will diddle first since he did to start the match. Nick would argue that that is the disadvantaged point. And I would agree with that. Unless you throw a 180. Unless you throw a 180. Oh, Ooh, look at that. He's oh, going to give okay. Jules a chance to shoot the 180. I don't know about them apples. Interesting play here from Danny Baggish, folks. Oh, I, was, I love listen, the play, honestly. I love Danny, but I really needed that to punish him to, to let everybody know, don't do that ever again. He, but here's what he did. He made Jules think about it. That's okay. what he did there. 
you know what else he could do is hit the 180 and all he has to do is just you know then he can make Jules think about it that but it way. makes it makes the 140 invalid exactly exactly what he did. I kind of like the play especially in that it's you an can't lose play, with the 180 but, hey makes it interesting and that segment's so much smaller that it, than the trip 20. I think it's a brilliant move. I think it's a brilliant move. You know move. I'll stand it's by not. It. I'll you stand know it's by not. It. I think it's a brilliant move. I I think it's a good move. It, Lastly, the decider, Danny's going to start. Jules going to try and throw in a nine here to get the point lead right away. Look at the chat. Look at the chat. Look at the chat. They agree. Oh, boy. Here we go. Chess match, if any, folks. It's split bull, everybody who's commenting about the bullseye. It, it doesn't matter. It's a smart it move. <laughs> 145, 180. I'm telling you, it, 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 I, I, I don't know. I just... <sighs> It's a big play, Nick. It's that's what it is. Nick's in the back of <laughs> drop it, drop it, drop it. No, that is the biggest move big of the match. Nine from Jules Van Dong and talk about biggest move, move of the match. That might be it at this point. And we can drop it from here. <laughs> oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, oh. my. <laughs> can Jules keep up this? Oh, what? Oh, I thought that was a misregister there for a second. Well, you can see it that... was a miss on dart three because it's sticking in the four. That's an unlucky miss. And it's the door opener Danny wanted. Trip 16. Does he make his move? Oh, oh. he's going 15s. Okay. Okay. It pays what off. What a chess match we got here, buddy. My goodness. I'm on the edge of my seat. I don't know about you. Look at this. He's going to try and get rid of him, and he goes back to points. That is a 46 point lead. It's almost a perfect lead to do what he just did. This is amazing. And look at now, look Danny, at Danny needs four bowls or four, four fifteens. Look at him take the shot early, too. Four fifteens needed to take back control, but Jules is going to get a shot at this. Oh, how what is he doing? Okay. What is he doing? That is very interesting. interesting. Now, I, okay. I don't know about that one. All right. I mean, he's smarter Dave's than us. Playing, at darts. Way yep. smarter than us at darts, but I just don't know about that. I don't know what you're trying to achieve here. Yeah, and now he has to hit. This is for the win. And it's going to pay off. It very well could. The gamble from wow. the gambler. Will it pay off? He's been expert on this all time. Oh, no, he missed it. This is Ow. unreal. So Jules Van Dongen will be your king seat if he hits one bowl here. And the Dutch Dragon gets it done. A 6.19 last leg decider against the throw. And Jules <sighs> proves I, something by I, getting it done. All odds against him. Not too many people giving him a chance because of all of the circumstances. Not me. I gave him a chance. And he pulls it off nine to eight. Folks, you just saw an unreal leg of some darts. You probably the interesting strategic moves. Wow. I mean, and for it to play out like that, Danny, I don't know, questionable move on the Bulls. He's going to be 100% backing of it because he's he's making Jules hit the shot. And that's what Danny tries to do all the time is make you hit the shot. He takes the percentage shot. So that's what he tried to do there. He squared it up for himself. Jules miss. And then Danny just yeah, didn't I mean, hit. He, uh, he did all the right moves, obviously. Uh, um, uh, even, I, even I guess the 170. Um, I'll give it to you finally. But uh, I will say this. 
you still got to capitalize on the opportunities that you're giving yourself. He just didn't there on those last three darts. Um, a little bit unlucky to go one out of the hole, one out of the hole, but that is darts. And man, even for the best, it's not given that you're going to hit three. And Jules Van Dongen is your wow. king seat. And over 2,100 people. So yeah. Someone's getting yep. a customized Sean Green not... cameo. Someone's Ridiculous. getting Ridiculous. I would have to do that. Couple you better send that hat. You better oh send that my hat. Goodness. Um, I mean, guys, I could. Will this is people ask me all the time? Do you ever get bored with darts? You've got to be sick of darts. No, not this, when it's like this. <laughs> this is why you can't get bored. I mean, that was an entertaining ah. throughout match. I mean, that's an hour and a, less than an hour and a half of your time spent oh. here watching an enjoyable, uh, just outright barn burner and. That's the coverage we got for you, folks. Overall, for the match, though, Danny Baggish coming away with the higher average of a 5.61, but Jules coming up with the upper hand and getting that guaranteed yep. first or second place money with a 5.31 average for him. So he's going to have to be double-dipped to lose out. And that's going to be tough to do for anyone. It will either be Mike Maloney or Danny Baggish, who Danny wanted to play, and he will play him. Um, not next week because we're going to be off next week, but in two weeks, that'll be the match probably on that Monday. Um, I can't wait. I cannot wait. It is going to be dynamite for days. And and I can guarantee you, folks, that for the next couple of days, Danny's going to be upset at himself, knowing what he's now got to produce versus Mike Maloney, yep. and then do the same against Jules twice. So. If he's gonna hope to win this title, he's got to do a, a three a three peat here. If, if essentially three three matches on the spin to win it, but boy, some tough competitors still in this mix. Danny Baggish, Mike Maloney, gonna be your next matchup here in our CSC Challenger Series Division One Wednesday night. Though we do have some coverage in Division Two, you don't want to forget about that one. Sean, who do we got? Yep, it is Brett Hollanday taking on Corey Beck. So I believe that's a couple of Minnesotas at the same and, bar. Uh, yeah. That's the fourth place match. I believe there. we're going to get so. what coverage from Legends. So we should just have that entertaining match of a, a rare sight here as we get a, a yeah. live coverage match. Good one. Yeah, Good I can't one. wait. It'll Love be it. so much fun. Uh, the Minnesotans going at it, and uh, it's going to be a battle. Yeah, it, definitely. May, it's going to be a similar battle to what tonight was. A little bit lower averages, but the battle will remain the same. So you're going to want to tune in Wednesday for that one. Don't even know if you can consider lower average. They may they may pump it up. You never know, folks. But on B, you know, <laughs> it's it's just incredible. Thank you so much for joining us, folks. Some incredible numbers. Twenty one hundred viewers is just massive. Yep. So big shout out to you all. Thanks for your continued support in this challenger series as we look to just continue to bring you coverage and and the action you all want you crave so good stuff william stewart sean green nick the sheriff per usual thank you guys we appreciate it we'll see you next time have a great night guys